question, your uh, MLC, you now your BJP, a top uh, in politics. What do you have to say about this scam? This is the biggest uh, scam in the history of Bangalore city. And 99.9% uh, uh, the Muslim community is very much affected. And uh, this uh, kingpin of IMA has robbed the Muslim community not only in Karnataka but also the neighboring state like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala. And uh, you know uh, the people believed him, trusted him and he has cheated to the tune of uh, 5000 crores and as a ex-police officer I have not seen in my lifetime such a big scam and made the people to believe him, trust him and uh, he has been given a support by the Muslim leaders. So there is a saying, there is a share, گھر کو آگ لگی اپنے ہی گھر کے چراغ سے تو یہ لوگوں سے جو ہے آگ لگ گئی ہے اب ہم کو یہ ضرورت ہے کہ اس کی تحقیقات ایک ڈھنگ سے ہو تیز رفتار سے ہو اس میں جتنے بھی کانسپریٹرز ہیں جو بھی اس ظالم کا سپورٹ کیا ہے ان کو گرفتار بھی کرنا ہے ان کے پر آکشن بھی لینا ہے اور غریبوں کے پیسوں سے جو بھی مال خریدا گیا ہے اس کو جو ہے ریکور کرنا ہے اور میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ مال جو لیا گیا ہے یہ مال صرف ہندوستان میں نہیں میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ بیرونی ملکوں میں بھی چلا گیا ہے Though he is in this business for the last 12 years, but the business was not so fast and all. This is, for the last 2-3 years, uh, he has uh, done the business in a very rampant way. And, uh, you know, the community is so ignorant. They did not uh, make it public. We have seen first time, uh, you know, in a Mushaira, he is sponsored. And uh, some of the jewelry shop is opening, some of the pharmacist is opening. Then we only we came to know about this. Then people started telling that he is giving 7% uh, interest, uh, 4%, 5%. Then he came to 3% and finally 0%. So if we uh, study the whole uh, case, it looks there is the biggest conspiracy. All the cheats, uh, they don't cheat within a day or two. They take time. First, what they do, they build the confidence of the people, then they will cheat. That's how things have happened here. Uh, were you any time invited by him? No. I have not seen him at all. I have not met him. And uh, the first time I am coming to this road, I am seeing the boat. This, this is the first time in my life. And no occasion. I have seen only uh, his photograph in the newspaper. You were called Sherlock Holmes. In these 12 years, did you not suspect and I mean, did you, you see, suspect when, and you could have also told No, no. Story. Listen to me. When some people came and told me about that, he is getting, uh, giving uh, 7%, 3%, 4%. I told them, that I, I don't, I, I suspect this fellow one day. He will run away. Then uh, our Ulmas started giving the uh, fatwa that uh, it is a genuine money. I don't know who came. Somebody came from the Deoband and uh, they said that we, we have studied, we visited all the institutions and he is having so much wealth. Whatever amount he has collected from the public, even uh, if he returned 100%, still the wealth will be with him. Such kind of uh, confidence was being created. I don't blame uh, totally and in this case, he is the accused. And some of the promoters, like some of the promoters who have taken him, took photographs and make it public through WhatsApp and other uh, source, other means. So poor people, you know, they have been fooled. I don't blame this, uh, you know, these victims. I don't blame them. You see, a man who is eating two meals a day, he wants to eat three meals a day. He wants to give good food to the children. With that expectation, they did it. Nazim sir, uh, now that uh, uh, all this scam has come to place, a lot of investors are in a dilemma how to recover the money. Uh, city is selling something, enforcement directors selling something. And now that uh, the BJP government and center, do you demand for a CBA probe and how do the investors get the money back? You know, you know, we are the people 
in karnataka state there are two three political parties one is bjp one is congress one is jds congress and jds leaders have not come forward so far the bjp who did this job and uh, our yadurappa ji former chief minister of karnataka state who has directed all the mps to meet the finance minister meet the home minister meet the external home affairs minister and tell them that uh, there should be speedy investigation and whatever assets she has made that should be recovered and culvir culprits to be booked accordingly shobha karanlaje he took about 6 to 7 mps to finance minister and finance minister nirmala sitaraman given direction to uh, the enforcement directed today you are seeing the newspaper how fast the enforcement directed is moving and inshallah they prop they will try to recover the property and property will be recovered no, but there is there is a, uh, a news going around that the investors who have invested in illegal money they are all partners of uh, ima and the money won't be given so what is your take on that sir you see ultimately you, it is the investors accusers ran away that's why uh, you see whatever amount of uh, stories uh, one would like to build up i can say even he has taken undertaking from the investors if benefit is there profit is there we will distribute if loss is there we are equally going to share but here what exactly the investigation should prove that this man taken undertaking from the people with uh, with an a bad intention to cheat the people and take the shelter take the shelter so he did it we have to prove the conspiracy we have to prove the intention if intention is bad even people blindly signing is not 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 a not a, not a crime sir enforcement director raided him thrice income tax raided him thrice there was he had gone even on june 6 to the police ccb headquarters <coughs> went for interrogation you being one of the most efficient and effective police officers if somebody comes to your police station what first would you do to see that he doesn't flee the country you see the thing is uh, here i can say the police is in hand in glove politicians are hand in glove some of the ulmas are also hand in glove otherwise he would have not done his business and still we are demanding for the cbi investigation because we are investigating in demanding cbi investigation because you know the local police is still showing negligence in investigation what is the greatest negligence you people have not studied you see when somebody goes to the police station and give complaint here they have to register a complaint fir Where is the FIR? No, they, no, listen, listen to me. They registered one FIR, and whatever people are going giving the complaint, they are just uh, enclosing the copy, giving that. That is not the procedure. They do not know the CRPC. What CRPC says? Any number of the complaint, thousand complaint, ten thousand complaint. When anybody visit the police station, they have to register a case. They have registered one single case. How can they give justice? Oh. What the hell they are doing? So, जितना लोग जा रहे हैं सर, वो हर किसी को FIR लॉच करना चाहिए. लॉच करना चाहिए. That is the that is that is the requirement of law. Even four FIRs are enough for somebody to be. No, no. You see. So all the forty thousand companies. You see, if you don't have yeah. manpower, if you don't have manpower, bloody hell, you you get from all other police stations. The first day itself, I demanded hundred police officers are required to investigate this case. Where are the hundred police officers? I because you do a lot of work, you you don't have patience to register case. Let this, now today sixty nine thousand three hundred uh, investors are there, and when I think about fifty thousand people have lodged a complaint, there should be fifty thousand FIRs. Where is fifty thousand FIRs? On what basis you can uh, uh, claim your money back? So, sir, how many investors have lodged? Are you asking them? What are you suggesting? Every one goes to FIR and lodges. If FIR lodges, they have to give FIR. Give FIR to everyone. They have made a complaint. Complaint should be converted to FIR. FIR. Each and every investor, when he makes a complaint in the police station, the case, separate case, has to be registered. Separate case has to be registered. Sir, uh, it is a wrong procedure. Asim, sir, they are doing. It to help the accused person. He had gone to help the accused person, yeah. defending him. This is not correct. I don't agree. So with June sixth, he had gone to the CCB mm. and he to the CCB. Mm. What was the actual procedure? If some criminal goes there for question. You see, the first thing that uh, immediately, when this information, even information in one sentence, somebody has cheated me, 
and is uh, leaving the country the police could have registered a fire immediately they could have sent a team to the uh, international airport they could have arrested him why they did not arrest you see he showing uh, this thing to the uh, immigration department and issuing the red corner notice or the blue corner notice subsequently but here the police negligence is so much they have taken 48 hours to constitute the committee uh, the investigative team 48 hours delay you did not immediately jump into action so that amounts actually, to actually the thing was very well uh, aware about you people so why not you people make a voice if people can get that information because too late is coming from your side also no no please don't blame us don't blame us you see we have learned this information subsequently but now i am counting their negligence you see i am not a police officer today so i was on tour uh, two days back i came immediately i took our muslim women ladies to adurappa we protested we demanded the cbi investigation to be done and also i went to the extent of demanding whatever recovery is made we they will make the recovery and whatever loss public have sustained and they have uh, incurred loss because of the negligence of the government because of negligence of police force the government should take the responsibility and government should compensate the loss you see when something happens government is not going to give 2000 3000 crores to the people in this case also let government uh, be, 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 in a special budget uh, 3000 crore or 5000 crore should and should give to the public there 35 companies were uh, duped the uh, investors so those cases are not you see li listen to me listen to you as a listen listen to me first now whatever case is there we will uh, unearth the crime we will bring the accused to the uh, book and uh, we will concentrate on this simply if we jump to some other things so no no it, there is a time you see you see lo what law says if any delay in filing a fire any delay in filing a fire you sh should explain the delay okay so we will explain until like, even if anybody is cheated after 2 years you can file a fire today nobody can run away from the clutches of the law our people are ignorant and our ulama ikram should bring such kind of awakening in our community you always talk emotional talk emotional talk misleading the people you must tell in your khutba on on fridays see this kind of information we are received somebody is going to cheat be alert be aware any time they have spoken about this no you see he prevent a person from incurring a loss prevent a person from losing his life hey, what is the duty they have to alert them you know you the money was cbi the state government's prerogative to give a letter to the center asking them for cbi do you think that you see in this case i am suspecting the money might have gone out of the country is it possible for the sit to investigate this case in karnataka state home minister doesn't know about this let him hand over because cbi they are experts and cbi can go to uh, dubai cbi can go to iran and iraq cbi can go to any part of the world they investigate why prestige issue why are do why are you delaying it what you are going to lose you see if cbi investigation is ordered who is going to bear the expenses central government why are you taking risk better hand over it what is the prestige involved don't you think any politics is being played here you see you are the pressman mr rizwan you are in, uh, I, as i know you are there for the last 20 years you can imagine 30 years you can imagine you can presume so many things now our friend is also in the field and yesterday i met him so you can imagine so many things what is so happening he, so we he was everybody's in, good friend in in, 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 in in one sentence i can say that is a bloody cheat and he has ruined the life of our community and we are not going to spare him though i am not in power whatever demand we can raise definite will do which is going to help the community mr azim you said not in power but the threat of the uh, uh, police is still in there that's why i am talking like this otherwise who who has got guts to criticize the police And come on tell me in bangalore no, no. who 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 is going to tell that he is in hand and glove with the uh, uh, ima no i can say one more one more question now according to you what should be done 
and you know as a kind of final straw you see there should be today. there should be thorough investigation number 2 whatever your investigation is there you must uh, uh go very fast i in in your investigation it should be say thorough investigation means here those who have protected him they should be prosecuted those who have given shelter they should be prosecuted though those who have abated they should be prosecuted those who are going to harboring him they should be prosecuted those who have concealed the offence they should be prosecuted if and they should not be left free if you take proper action i will assure you another 50 years such type of scam if, won't if, happen if this doesn't take place will what will be the stand of the bjp no we are fighting you see all yesterday or just about uh, uh, week back uh, shobakaran laje led the delegation of the mps yes. and that is why i your enforcement directorate is doing work so fast today i am being ashaman news interviewed uh, former police uh, acp mr azim mlc and president of the uh, bjp minority morcha he revealed a lot of things he wanted a cbi inquiry he was saying that city is not doing the job properly he wants everybody to be prosecuted and arrested if not bjp will go on a strike